Dear chess lovers, welcome back to my channel. I wish you all very happy new year. We hope this year will go peacefully. I would like to see many tournaments and I would like to share many games with you. The FIDE World Blitz Championship 2021 was finished a few days before. In the Blitz tournament, Maxim Vachir Lagrave got a championship. He got a tie break against Duda. We are going to see that three tie break games. First two games in Sindra. Third game, MVL win the game. In these three games, no super tactics happened because both players are selected safety openings. They played very carefully. In the task, MVL got uh, white pieces, Duda played with black pieces. This is the first tiebreaker. MVL started with e4, Duda replayed with e5. Then knight f3, knight c6, bishop to b5, Ray Lopez. We saw many games in this opening. e6, bishop a4, knight f6. Here MVL goes to castle, Duda played bishop e7. Then d3, b5. Bishop to b3. Now d6. Here MVL go to a3. Then Duda castles the king. Then knight c3. Now knight b8. After bishop d2, knight b d7. Now a4. Here Duda did not capture the pawn. He goes to b4. Now knight d5. The pawn on b4 is under attack. Here if black takes knight on d5, then bishop takes d5. Then they have to move their rook. So Duda defended the pawn on a5. Then c3. After b takes c3, bishop takes c3, now knight c5. Here MVL don't like to give the bishop on b3. He captured the knight on f6, then bishop takes f6, now bishop d5. Here rook a7, d4, e takes d4, then knight takes d4, now bishop d7. Then queen c2, queen to e8. After knight b3, Duda starts to exchange the pieces, knight takes b3, queen takes b3, bishop takes c3, queen takes c3, now c6, kicking off the bishop from d5, but MVL goes to queen d4, attacking the rook on a7, now black cannot take the bishop on d5, so rook b7, now bishop a2, then bishop e6, here queen takes d6, after bishop takes a2, rook takes a2, now queen takes e4. Now h3, protecting his king from background checkmate. Now queen d5. After queen takes d5, c takes d5, rook d1. Attacking the pawn on d5, now rook d8. After rook a3, Duda did not capture the pawn on b2, he played d4. Now MEL played rook a d3, then rook to b4. Still Duda did not capture the pawn. So pawn b3, then g6. Now rook e1, rook db8, rook to e5. After rook takes b3, MVL goes to rook takes d4. Then rook 3 to b4, now rook d to d5. After rook takes a4, rook takes a5, then rook takes a5. After rook takes a5, both players agreed to the draw. Because obviously this position has no hope for both. Still two more games in this tiebreaker. I'll post one by one soon. We'll see you on next video. Please support me with subscribe, like and share. See you.